Chapter 1 Preparing for the Harvest Title Preparing for the Harvest As the sun rose over the peaceful village, the farmers of Green Valley were already hard at work, preparing for the harvest. It was an important time of year when the land's ripeness would bring forth a bounty of crops that would sustain the community for months to come. The farmers knew that careful planning and diligent preparation were crucial steps to ensure a successful and abundant harvest. The first step in preparing for the harvest was to assess the condition of the land. Mr. Johnson, the village elder and an experienced farmer, walked through the fields, examining the soil's texture and moisture. He knew that the crops would thrive if the soil was well-nourished and ready to receive the seeds. With his trusty shovel, he worked to loosen the earth, removing any rocks or debris that might hinder the growth of the plants. Next, it was time to select the seeds. Mrs. Miller, a kind-hearted farmer who had been growing crops for decades, had carefully preserved the seeds from the previous year. She knew that these seeds had proven to be strong and resilient, capable of producing healthy and tasty vegetables. Each seed was lovingly inspected for its quality, ensuring that only the best ones would be planted. There were several important steps to be taken before the seeds found their new home in the soil. Farmer Brown, a young and energetic farmer, was responsible for preparing the beds for planting. He used a large hoe to break up the soil, turning it over and creating neat rows. The beds were then fertilized with rich compost to provide the necessary nutrients for the growing plants. Meanwhile, the rest of the villagers were also getting involved in the preparations. Families gathered, buckets in hand, to fetch water from the nearby stream. They knew that watering the crops was vital for their survival. The children eagerly helped, carefully carrying small buckets and giggling as the water splashed on their little feet. Finally, it was time to plant the crops. The villagers gathered at the fields, each with a handful of seeds and the excitement of the upcoming harvest in their hearts. Farmer Brown meticulously spaced out the seeds, ensuring that each plant would have enough room to grow. As he dropped each seed into the earth, Mr. Johnson followed behind, lightly covering them with soil. Days turned into weeks, and the crops began to sprout and grow. The once bare and empty fields were now filled with rows of vibrant greens, yellows, and reds. The farmers were delighted to see their hard work paying off. It was a sign of a fruitful harvest to come. As the season progressed, the villagers continued to care for their crops. They diligently watered, pulled out weeds, and protected the plants from pests. Everyone knew that nurturing the crops until they were fully matured was essential for a successful harvest. Finally, the time came for harvesting the crops. The farmers sharpened their sickles and patiently gathered their baskets and crates. With smiles on their faces, they carefully plucked the ripe vegetables, feeling the joy of their labor rewarded. The villagers celebrated the harvest with a feast, enjoying the fruits of their hard work. They laughed, shared stories, and expressed gratitude for nature's generosity. They knew that their preparation, dedication, and teamwork had made this bountiful harvest possible. And so, with full bellies and content hearts, they looked forward to the next season, filled with hope and excitement for the preparations to begin again. Question, what are the important steps to take before harvesting? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Techniques for Effective Harvesting. In Chapter 2, we will be talking all about the techniques for effective harvesting. Harvesting is an important task because it allows farmers to gather the crops they have grown and enjoy the fruits of their labor. By using the right techniques, farmers can make this process efficient and successful. One technique for effective harvesting is using the right tools. Farmers need tools that are specifically designed for harvesting crops. One such tool is called a sickle. A sickle is a long, curved blade that is used to cut grains like wheat or barley. 
when the crops are ready to be harvested. Farmers can use a sickle to cut them down quickly and easily. Timing is also essential in harvesting. It's crucial to harvest crops at the right time to ensure they are at their best quality. For example, if farmers wait too long to harvest fruits like apples or strawberries, they may become overripe and spoil. On the other hand, if they harvest them too early, the fruits may not be fully ripened and won't taste as delicious. By paying attention to the right time to harvest, farmers can ensure that their crops are flavorful and delicious. Efficiency is another key factor in successful harvesting. Farmers need to work quickly and efficiently to harvest their crops. One way to do this is by organizing the fields properly. By grouping the crops in straight rows, farmers can easily move from one end to the other, making harvesting faster and more straightforward. Additionally, using tools like wheelbarrows or buckets can help farmers gather the harvested crops and carry them to a central location efficiently. Furthermore, it's essential for farmers to be attentive and diligent during the harvesting process. They need to examine each crop carefully to identify any signs of disease or pest infestation. By doing so, they can remove any damaged plants and prevent the problem from spreading to other healthy crops. This attention to detail ensures that the harvested crops are of high quality. When it comes to harvesting, proper storage is crucial to keep the crops fresh for a longer time. Farmers need to have a designated storage area, such as a barn or a shed, where they can store the harvested crops safely. It's important to protect the crops from pests and moisture, as both can cause spoilage. By storing the crops correctly, farmers can enjoy their hard work for an extended period. To summarize, effective harvesting requires the use of proper techniques, the right tools, and timeliness. Farmers need to be efficient in their work and pay attention to the details to ensure a successful harvest. By following these guidelines, farmers can gather their crops with ease and enjoy the delicious rewards of their labor. Question, what are the techniques for efficient harvesting? Check the video description for the answer.